So the one thing that all of us as entrepreneurs will always have to do at some point is raise capital. Now, it's very important for you to know at what point do you need that capital? Because at different stages, one, you require different types of finance, but also two, you may be able to get away with certain things that you can't at certain stages. Give you an example. If you're raising seed money, you've only started the business, you maybe have an idea or maybe just a proof of concept, you haven't really generated cash flows, you're clearly not profitable at all. What investors are going to ask for from you at that point is going to be a bigger return. Why? Because the risk is higher. If you're a business that's already running, you're generating cash flows, you're profitable, and maybe you just need capital to buy more machines or to kind of go into new markets, the risk is a bit lower. You can negotiate better as an entrepreneur. In this installment of Pearls of the Hustle, Romeo goes into detail about what you and I as entrepreneurs should think about before we approach funders. One, got to know your numbers. But two, something we don't often think about, we've got to know what the proposition is to the investor or the lender. Have a listen. Last year, I got the opportunity of being one of the investors on Shark Tank, uh, which is on Mnet, where we saw an, you know, a range of entrepreneurs coming to sell us their businesses and asking us to invest in their businesses. And in the end, it became Shark Tank because it was shocking the number of people who came to present to us and didn't understand their numbers. You can't be in business, guys, if you don't understand your numbers. How you sell to investors, how you have to position your business as an investable proposition for investors. And we saw a whole lot of people who just came with concepts, businesses, great businesses. In some cases, they were fantastic businesses. But guys didn't understand their numbers. In some cases, the entrepreneurs were not even as passionate um, as we were about their businesses. Really, really important that you, you have a compelling business idea. If it's an idea at seeding level, you have to understand w whether you're trying to raise seeding capital or whether you're trying to raise growth capital. Very, very, very important. Um, because at seeding, you should be asking for a different kind of capital from your friends, from your family, and try and raise that kind of capital for people who are not going to take equity from your business and kind of kill you early on in the process. Very different when you're asking investors for growth capital and what investors will be looking for and the criteria of, a, of that investment. I mean, we look for strong management. We look for businesses with a hugely competitive advantage, what we call a moat around that business. We look for great return of capital employed. We look for businesses with social impact because it's important for us. We want to make a difference. So we look for businesses that have a massive social impact, um, particularly around financial inclusion. And in the end, I mean, it's all about the returns to the investors, high returns to the investors.